how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i have here with me is this gorgeous looking flagship device from honor which is the magic 7 pro and since i love making videos on different android uis one thing that i really care about whenever i get a new phone is how the software experience is gonna be this android phone is currently running the latest magic os 9 based on android 15 and this operating system has a lot to offer i mean you get some incredible features and customizations that you won't even find on other android skins so in this video, we'll see why the Magic OS 9 can provide you with one of the best software experiences you can get on any Android phone. With that said, stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let's start off with some personalizations and there are tons of options you get when it comes to customizing your home screen. If I just swipe with my two fingers, below we have the options such as cards, wallpapers and custom and then the home screen settings. Cards is basically the widget section where we get all different stock widgets which can be applied directly onto your home screen and you can choose from different shapes and sizes as well. The best part is you can stack the widgets on top of each other to make your home screen look clutter free. And when I hold and drag it like this, it opens the stack folder with a seamless transition that looks really really smooth. Then there is wallpaper and custom. Tapping on it brings this little menu at the bottom and this kind of looks similar to what we see on Origin OS 5 where we have options to change the theme, apply different effects to the wallpaper, we can customize the icon style change the layout and add different transition effects. Not just that, when I swipe right, I can adjust the rounded corners using the slider and it gets applied to the control center as well as the notification panel. Now coming back to the main screen, if we go inside themes, we've got some recommended and downloaded themes, but the best part is when you swipe over different themes, you actually get a preview of how the theme exactly looks on your home screen as well as lock screen in real time. This kind of looks cool because you can see the changes in real time and each theme comes with a different set of icons, wallpapers and widgets too. You can apply different effects to the wallpaper and it basically lets you choose between different colors and gradients to create your own wallpaper. You can also add some blood to the wallpaper as well. Then we have the icon style where you can change the color of your app icons to match your current wallpaper. There are also different icon styles you can choose from. You can increase or decrease the size of your app icons, change the shape and make the icons look more rounded or squarish depending on your mood. Lastly, if you want, you can hide the app labels too. Then we get the option to change our home screen layout and there are a couple of templates that you can choose from. What I really liked here is you get the option to save your current home screen layout which you can restore anytime you want to. Again something that we don't see on many android skins. Now if I swipe over to the left, I can customize the lock screen and there are a bunch of different styles we can choose in order to customize our lock screens and all of these actually look really really good. You don't have to invest a lot of time just to customize your phone. You get some beautiful looking presets built in that completely changes the way how your lock screen look in just a single tap. Not just that, you can also customize the font, change the clock color, enable or disable the depth effect and do lot more. Another interesting feature you won't find on other Android phones is the option to create smart folders. These folders contain shortcuts for a specific app right on your home screen. For example, let's say if you want to post anything on X, instead of opening the app first, and then tapping on this plus icon to write a tweet, I can directly click on the shortcut right from my home screen. Similarly, if I have to search a video on YouTube, I can just tap on this YouTube search shortcut. Like this, you can create as many shortcut you want on your home screen and it does support most of the applications. To create a smart folder, just long press on an app icon and expand it to bring out all the shortcuts onto your home screen. Magic OS also has enlarged folders and unlike other Android phones, it even lets you resize the folders without any restrictions. So you can make it as small as just having 3 applications in one folder or go all the way up to 12 or 15 apps in a single folder. The best part is you can change the shape and size to perfectly match your home screen layout. I'm not sure if any other Android UI allows you this level of modification with an app folder. 
Just like the edge panels on Samsung phones, we do get the multi-window dock on the Magic OS and this not only lets you access your favorite apps and shortcuts, but it also has an interesting feature called Magic Portal. Just go to the phone settings, then go into Honor AI and enable this option called Magic Portal. Once that is done, now when you are inside any app, with just your knuckle, simply draw a circle to drag the selected content directly to any application inside the smart dock. You can drag images to post them directly on Instagram or Twitter. You can copy the text and save it to your notes. Another thing you can do is you can drag images to search for an item on Google instantly. This works just like the circle to search feature. In case you want to save any web pages or documents, you can simply swipe down with your three fingers like this and it gets saved directly inside the favorite space that can be accessed anytime you want to. Talking about gestures, we do get a lot of cool gestures on Magic OS 9. To take a screenshot, you just need to knock twice with the knuckle on the screen or simply show your palm and close it like this. You can flip your wrist down to scroll any web pages and to open apps in a split screen or a pop-up window, simply swipe up from the bottom to the top left or right corner. Honestly, these are some useful gestures and shortcuts which can definitely save a lot of your time. And once you get used to them, you'll find it difficult using other Android phones. When you're inside the phone settings, if you go to Honor AI, we've got plenty of AI tools that will further enhance your smartphone using experience. We have AI suggestions that actually recommend apps based on the scenario and your daily habits. Then we have magic text that helps you quickly extract text from any image or documents. AI translation will help you translate your messages and calls into different languages. AI writing has some really useful writing tools such as AI summary, AI correction and AI formats. This helps you correct your grammar mistakes, summarize and convert that into different formats. Lastly, we also get a bunch of photo editing tools like Magic Eraser which will remove unwanted objects from your pictures. AI upscale will enhance and improve the quality of your photos and AI outpainting will change the orientation of your pictures. So these are all the useful AI features you get on Honor devices. Similar to other Chinese skins, Magic OS also has its own version of iOS Dynamic Island and they're calling it as Magic Capsule. Although we get this exact feature in most Android phones these days, I would say that Honor has one of the best implementation and it actually works really really well with some nice smooth animations. You just need to select notifications, then go inside the status bar and make sure you have enabled the magic capsule feature. This works when you play music or watch videos on YouTube while setting up a timer or start video recording. It goes straight into the cutout and converts that into a magic capsule. This even lets you manage multiple activities at the same time. Next, let's talk about animations, which I think is one of the most crucial part of any Android UI nowadays. And as expected from a Chinese skin, the animations are really, really smooth and fluid. When you open and close applications quickly one by one, or even accessing the control center, it has this nice little bouncy animation that looks really good. Even when you open the stack folder or accessing the magic portal from the sidebar and when you put any app into the magic capsule, everything feels so good and smooth on this phone running Magic OS 9. Guys, the animations are actually good and I don't have any complaint regarding this. I'll try to make a separate video comparing the animations with other Android phones, so stay tuned for that as well. That's pretty much it for this video. Now let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature of Magic OS 9. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.